Good evening, Millennials. I am Yula Vipola, and welcome to the pilot episode of Millennial TV. <laughs> this show is all about our times, interests, our dreams, and where we are headed to as Millennials. Pero bago ang lahat, let me introduce you the other host with me for the show, my friends Joaquin Mendoza, <laughs> Zara Lim, and Chris Abaya. Thank you so much, Yula Bay, and sa lahat ng mga daily viewers natin na nanonood dyan sa GNN. I remember pa, and I'm sure lahat naman tayo dito na abutan natin yung lumang uh, MTV. But with the four of us here, I feel like this is a very, very special group and we have a chance to rewrite yung meaning ng uh, MTV for this newer generation. Mas malawak yung mga topics na pwede natin pag-usapan dito. Siyempre may music pa rin, pero pag Millennial TV, I feel like there's a lot of things that we can dive into and I'm really excited to get into it with the three of you guys. And Zara! Welcome! How are you today? Hi, I'm good. Tell everybody Thank who you, you are. Hi guys! Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at lalo na sa mga millennials. We hope you will enjoy our show as we feature all our interests. And as you Yulabai mentioned nga, where we are headed to, to which I think is very important that we take this journey together. Alam niyo naman, masaya ako dahil I'm with my friends here, Yulabai, of course. She's my batchmate. And of course, Waki. And last but not the least, Chris Abaya. Those are my viewers. Thank you, Huawei. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Thank sure. you, Yulavai. Uh, of course, uh, thank you din sa GNN Network at sa production team. Siyempre, binigyan tayo ng opportunity, di ba? Binigyan ng opportunity ito para sa atin. Mm -hmm. I'm sure na habang tumatagal, mas magiging maganda pa yung segment na to, mm -hmm. yung chemistry namin lahat. So, samahan niyo po sana kaming mga televiewers habang tumatagal. Na para yung, uh, ang tawag dito, Mga, I'm sure, sure, sure kami na bibigyan namin kayo ng mga magagandang topic at may enjoy niyo yan every Sunday. Yeah. Uh, let me also say my thank yous as well. First of course, gaya nga ng sinabi ni Chris, to GNN and its production staff, siguro rin uh, ikwento naman natin kung paano tayo napunta dito kasi I've never thought na ma sasama ko dito sa stellar cast na to. This is such a great opportunity, of course. Lalo na kasama ko kayo with my good friends. Uh, very swerte na rin ako, siguro, kasi kilala ko ang ating executive producer, which is si Tito Butch. Kasama niya before ang aking tito, na si Tito Arnold Castillo, campaigning before for counselor in Paranaque. Uh, tinawagan ako out of the blue ni Tito Butch. He asked me if I wanted to join GNN's latest talk show for the millennials. At first, na-shock ako but I immediately said yes. Kasi I guess siguro it's a big opportunity and a chance for me to speak for my generation who are now going through a lot in this, pan in this time of pandemic. I want to spread happiness and positivity to the world and I hope through this show, lahat tayo mga televiewers lalo na tayong mga millennials, we could know each other in a better light and that light spreads across and contributes to our generation's being as well. Ako personally, meron akong mga nag-guestan din na mga podcasts sa iba't ibang mga subculture, sa iba't ibang mga community. Pero I think first time ko din na magawa ulit to ng may kasama ako dito. So thank you very much GNN para sa opportunity Si Tito Butch, quite literally, Tito ko talaga. Uh, pinsan siya ng uh, mami ko, and uh, they go go way back yung Serrano clan. Medyo malaking clan yan. Si Tito Butch, actually, ang alam ko dapat siya yung fourth co-host nyo. Pero hindi siya umabot ng uh, age bracket noon. Mukha siya yung pero yung age, pero siguro lumang pa siya ng mga two years, three years na. Tito, napaka... Laking pasasalamat ko sa opportunity na binigay mo sa aming apat. And I'm yes. pretty sure we are going to have a lot to, a lot of fun when we talk about so many, so many, so many topics. Yeah. Lalo na yung mga relevant nga sa age bracket natin. Well, wow. Um, good luck to us, of course. Because I know it's hard to speak to our generation. Lalo na we're going through simultaneously our life. And, you know, experiencing high and lows. 
together. So I accepted this hosting gig. Like you, you guys here, I believe that it's um, it's important to try new things. And actually, this is out of my comfort zone because I never tried hosting before. And luckily, you recommended me to Tito Butch. And yun nga, he mentioned na he picked you guys. Parang ako yung nahuli, na napile. And yeah. yeah, so for that, thank you, you Levi. And yeah, and um, I hope to. Um, Spread confidence because I remembered the last guesting with Dr. Jonna Seneca shows Wellness 101. Um, we talked about millennials then and um, Gen Zs. I remember Tito Butch told me that after the show that I can be deep when I want to. So that really made my confidence up. That's why I want to reach out to this generation to give them the confidence at least and give them some lessons. Yeah, and so nice. sab. <laughs> So yeah, Chris. Ako naman. <coughs> Actually, hindi talaga ako related kay Kuya Butch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hindi talaga hindi kami magkakilala. Yung significant other niya, yung makakilala ko. Parang uh, more than decade ko nakakilala yun. Parang grade 3 pa lang ako. So katabi ko lang siya ng room. Doon ko lang siya naalala. Tapos parang this year lang, naalala ko yung pangalan ng babae, yung full name niya natatandaan ko. So sinag siya sa Facebook. Sabi ko, sino ba tong ano na to? Parang naalala ko to ah. Kasi nga, nagkausap kami, nagkakunto kami. Tapos, out of nowhere, tinawagan ako. Ayun, kinantak ako. Sabi, pwede ka pong maging host? Sabi ko, ako, parang, parang, ano yan, may malaking adjustment yan para sa akin. Kasi hindi ako nagsasalita, hindi ako kumitibo. <laughs> Sobrang tahimik ko, sabi ko. So, ayun, sabi ko, sige, try ko. Baka sa aling, ano, baka kaya naman. So, ayun, ayun, dito tayo ngayon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, very na-touch naman ako sa mga sinabi nyo. Thank you rin sa inyo dahil magkakasama tayo ngayon. Uh, bago lahat, Waki, Chris, and Zara, uh, may mga questions lang ako sa inyo. Uh, through this pandemic, ano-ano ang naiba sa buhay ninyo ngayon at paano tayo makaka-cope up sa mga ka-generation natin Wait, para na akong broadcaster. <laughs> Paano? Or what what advice would you give in our generation ngayong pandemic? Uh, Zara muna. Um, advice? Um, siguro, to answer your question, I think, ang daming nagbago during this pandemic. Like, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Yeah. So, nagbago rin yung paning ko in life, yung outlook ko in life. So, I think, if, magbibigay ako ng advice is to just alam mo naman mga millennials ngayon di ba? like more on social media yeah super and yun nga I think it's important to self reflect mm -hmm. and you know as we have so much time right now we're very flexible um, I think it's important to take it slow and Yun nga, your worth is not based on our productivity, so it's okay to just, you know, kahit managita kan sa social media, everyone is just moving on with their lives, yeah, diba? Like, wala nang mga mask yung ibang country. So I think it's, um, yeah, our time will come soon. <laughs> so <laughs> it's okay to feel that way. Okay, Waki? Then, alam mo, yung mask na yan, to be honest, yeah. naliligtas tayo niyan. Yeah. Kasi, the good and bad thing about uh, the way the country is handled in pandemic okay. situation. Parang never naman tayo nag-zero, di ba? Okay. May ibang countries kasi, but nag-zero sila. Hindi tangkala na sila ng mga face mask. So, ayan, may mga bagong outbreak na naman sila na once upon a time oh, na bar, yeah. tapos na yeah. sana nila, no? Tayo at least parang never naman tayong, I guess, pinagbigyan na tanggalin yung mga face masks natin. Facial. Oo, di ba? Facial. Oo. That being said, yes, this pandemic indeed has brought about a lot of changes. Ako, personally, ang pinakaunang naapektuhan is yung uh, work ko. Ngayon, nagpilitan kami mm -hmm. mag, uh, work from home setup and yung work namin kasi marketing and ang line of work na yun, kailangan mo talaga lagi na as much as possible na kapag brainstorm kayo in person. Like yeah. this, can you imagine na ginagawa natin to over Zoom? Kaya naman, mm -hmm. pero di ba mas effective siya na uh, harapan tayo. So a lot of the things na 
nagagawa natin face to face we cannot do anymore syempre andyan din yung uh, sports I know that a lot yeah. of these things Physical. nagsisimula na ulit mag-restart. Ito si Papa Chris, no? Kita mo naman, mukhang putok-putok-putok <laughs> talaga nung pandemic eh. Yung mga biceps niya uh, labas dun sa ano. But seriously, uh, there, unfortunately, especially for someone like me na into combat sports, up to now, bawal pa rin kami. So, oh, talaga? Oo, napilitan kaming mag-train uh, or mag-set up ng... You were there nung nag yeah. tayo for the first time. And yes. uh, we really just had to do everything from the house, which is, I guess, both a good thing and a bad thing. Kasi, of course, uh, while we miss all of our friends, all of our relatives, and all of the things we used to do, at the same time, I feel like the pandemic and... I cannot speak naman for everybody kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng pinagdaanan. But ako personally, it's let me grow and it's let me uh, become more resourceful yeah. in terms of the things na akala ko hindi pwedeng gawin dati ngayon medyo mas yeah. may time akong gawin. Yeah. How about Chris? <laughs> ako rin super affected ako ng pandemic. Kasi nung sumakay ako ng bago, first time ko yun. So, Ayun, parang nahahasa pa lang ako eh. Ilang months pa lang. Eh, hindi naman talaga ako kumakanta. Eh, yung, yung show kasi namin, uh, twice a week. So, medyo nahahasa na ako. Tapos, nung biglang nagkaroon ng pandemic, yun, parang nakakalungkot lang. Alam mo yung moving, ano, Titanic. Di ba? Yeah. Palungkot na siya, medyo nakakalungkot. Parang ganun yung feeling nun eh. Kasi, eh, nag-aalisa na yung mga guests. Tapos, oh, may, meron pa kami yung last show. Sad. Meron pa kami yung last show, pero hindi na natuloy. Kasi, parang balisa na yung mga guests. So, sobrang affected talaga. Ayun, pag-uwi namin dito, siguro mga two years na rin ako na-stop ng singing. Sobrang affected. Kaya yan, babawi tayo. <laughs> okay. Feeling ko naman din maraming mga, especially sa performance arts na mga industry, siya ng mga music or yung mga ibang-ibang performer natin. Ako may mga friends din ako na nasa bands and uh, lahat sila din ang lifeline ng pagkikita ng mga yan is really yun talaga yeah. mm-hmm. ba diba? so pwede kang magpa-stream sa Spotify pwede kang magpatayo lang sa YouTube mo channel pero iba pa rin yung syempre income mo pag meron kang active yeah. gigs yeah. na yeah. pwede True. i-promote at pwede kang mag-perform mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba so, nag-online kayo na performances mm-hmm. if you don't mind mahirap kasi pag online kasi ang ginagawa namin pag kumakanta kami nagbiblendi kami harmony ganun mm-hmm. pag ginawa siya online Pag ginawa siya online, may mga delay, gano'n. Yeah, true. Kaya mahirap. Classical music oh, classical. yung mas hilahan ako. Eh. Paano yun na... Napakahirap. Uh, <laughs> paano yun na iiba sa, kunwari, mga mas contemporary or mga mainstream bands na napapanood namin? Para sa akin, pag uh, classical, may arte siya, tapos talagang damang-dama mo, kahit di mo alam yung lyrics, parang yeah, dadamahin mo lang yung, yeah, yung tone, o gano'n. O, kasi express mo. Tapos medyo ano siya, talagang solid yung boses. Walang mahina. Mm. Nahirap siya sa una. Yeah. <laughs> Ako naman ang masasabi ko, may advice to our generation, mga millennials or ang mga Gen Zs. Uh, for me, let's take it easy or slow. Let's not pressure ourselves na everyone's moving forward. Nakikita natin lahat sa social media na, oh, si ganito, ganyan. Yeah. Meron na silang plans. Pero, in our age, feeling ko, for me talaga, kailangan natin hindi i-pressure yung selves natin. Madami ko rin nakikita ng ganyan, social media. Yes, Parang madami tayong yeah, tayo pinagdadaanan, lalo na affected yung businesses namin. Actually, yeah. kami din. But, I know we're going strong. And, let's pray na lang na lahat tayo maging... Makuha natin yung success na gusto natin. Okay, malapit na matapos ang ating first segment. And I'm sure, bago natin pag-usapan ng mga topics ng ating generation, kaya natin, kaya lang napag-usapan natin ngayon, um, siguro it is fitting na magpahilala muna tayong lahat and discuss yeah. what we have, with, what, what, what we have do, uh, what we have been doing with our lives so that our televiewers can get to know us better, right? So, okay ba sa Of course! Yes. Makikilala tayo ng mga televiewers much more. Uh, okay, 
Excited na ako. <laughs> Shout out po na ako ha, to my parents. Zarjun Polak and Judith Polak, I love you all. And my siblings also. Wait, we're six, so I won't mention their name anymore. <laughs> I love you all. Uh, okay, we'll be right back as you learn more about Waki, Zara, Chris, and yours truly, Yulabai Polak. <laughs> <laughs>